hello everyone and welcome back to another video so today i'll be showing you how to turn your raspberry pi pico into a pico ducky just like a rubber basically a rubber ducky i'm only going to be showing instructions raspberry pi pico but not not pico w so if you want to know how to do pico w just go to the website in the description just go to the website in the description what you're going to want to do first with a raspberry pi pico the one that you have you're going to get it and you're going to install these clones you're uh, not clone, you're going to install these files so install this one circuit python for the raspberry pi pico download it i already have it downloaded and it should look like it looks something a little like one of these i don't, I don't actually i'm just download it it's gonna say oh yeah it's gonna be this one add a fruit bundle and you're also going to want to go here code and download zip once you download the zip it will look a little something like this so anyways you're gonna go plug into the device or plug in raspberry pi pico just like so you just plug it in <clears throat> with the wire and the Raspberry Pi Pico connected and boom it says wireless device detected I'm gonna go here it says RPI 1 or RPI minus RPI RP2 so what you're gonna want to do is get the file you downloaded which for me I just downloaded again and it's this one you're gonna get it I'm going to get the file oh. get this one file the one that ends with .uf2 right click copy and then just paste it into this one and it will automatically disconnect it once it's done copying down and then it's going to reconnect by itself okay now it is connected as circuit pi so it's going to show a circuit pi so now what you're going to want to do is download this one right here on step five Again, the link for this GitHub is in the description. So you're gonna download this GitHub. You're gonna click it, and it's going to look just like this file right here. It's zipped. What you're gonna want to do is <coughs> basically, <coughs> you're gonna extract all, and then it's gonna extract to a different one, and it's gonna look like this, this file. Add a fruit. And then it just looks like a file, it's the same name as this one, except it doesn't end with .zip. Open up the file, and you're going to want to basically head over to the lib folder, so this one. And then you're going to want to find the balancer, ticks, and add a fruit, hid. Basically, <coughs> search, when you're on the lib folder, search head and then get this one add a fruit head you're gonna want to copy it go to circuit pi go to lib paste it now after you do that you're gonna want to head over um you're gonna want to copy the bouncer and ticks so that would be in this one in the add a fruit folder and then go to lib the bouncer Copy this. You can either find it or Control F and then search. Paste it into the lib folder. And ticks. So you can go on to go back. This one. And Control F ticks. Copy this one. Paste it into circuit pi which is your raspberry pi paste into the lib folder also you're going to want to get a sync a sync io add a fruit wsgi okay so back to the folder a single or a sync yo, whatever copy it go to your circuit pi with your raspberry pi lib folder paste it next WSGI. So we'll go back to your files. Lib. WSGI. Copy it. 
go to back to your Raspberry Pi, lib folder, and paste it. So that's done with the lib folder. Next, you're gonna want to go back to the files you downloaded and pick picoducky main.zip. After you extract that with this button, then it's gonna extract into this, a folder of picoducky main. You're gonna open that, then you're gonna copy boot.py. Going to go here, copy, and just paste it right, right onto it like this. Next, you're going to get, go back to the same one, Pico Ducky main, and then copy boot.py like this. Oh wait, <laughs> there's already one. So, okay, never mind. So, leave. Oh, wait, I already put in boot py. Alright, so you're gonna want to go back again to Pico Ducky, copy Ducky in Python, this one, copy it, <coughs> put it in here, back to the Pico Ducky main, copy code.py and this one is you want to trade it off for this one see this one is 22 bytes the one that you paste well I'm going to delete, delete it quickly because you first have to delete this one then paste it so delete the first code.py wait actually yeah just delete it paste it in oh hmm Okay, I must have copied the wrong one. Again, I'm just code.py. Three. Okay, so copy this as a circuit pie. And oh, it's right here. So, and then after code.py, webapp.py. Go here. Webapp.py. Copy this. Head over here web.py and last one wsgi server.py after you've pasted all of these all you're gonna want to do is well that's really done there's no more so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go back to the to github you're gonna want to new tab search notebook or notes just notepad just search notepad and then just find the random one i picked this one rapidtables.com just press notepad right and then see i already have scripts here just like a virus kind of but basically you can just code in and i'll also put a second link in the description for the ducky for the um, ducky like how to code in DocuScript, and you could look at the page there. You could figure out all the commands. But for example, I want mine to open up a new tab, and then it's gonna paste in the Rick Rolling. For example, so you search Rick Roll, right? I'm gonna copy the link address, and the code is really simple. So for example, it's gonna go control N and then it's gonna delay for one second and it's gonna string which means basically type paste this the YouTube link and it's gonna delay for one more second enter and then it's gonna control control N delay one more second and they're gonna say get our string get rick rolled and then enter and then you could just download this get it from your downloads the one that's and then oh, oh by the way when you're downloading it it's gonna say like what you don't want to download it as like or you could just go file save as and then you're gonna name it payload.dd and then just save it 
So once it gets saved, you get it. You copy it. Oh, by the way, the notepad, if I hadn't said already, it's going to be in the description too. And then just get it and just paste it in right here. See payload.dd. And now once you unplug the once you unplug your Raspberry Pi Pico and then plug it back in, it will run and execute the code. And sometimes if you don't want it to execute the code, there you will want to like okay, but for now I'm just gonna show you how the code works. So unplug it, plug it back in, just close everything. This is one my this is my school computer, that's why it says this. So plug it in. See, I'm not I'm not touching anything. And now in the background, Rick roll music slowly will load. But we'll play. But anyways, that's basically it. And at the very end of this video, I'll put in a clip of how to get the how to how to put it like if you made a virus or something or like something malicious how to how to stop it from running on your own computer once you plug it in okay so this is the end of part one part two i'll show how to you know plug it in without running on your computer so okay to part two okay part two here so what you're gonna want to do with your raspberry pi pico since it's already now it's everything programmed so let's just say you have something they don't want running on your own computer. That's understandable. Basically, just get like a wire. You'll want to get your Raspberry Pi and to get the wire and put it in this first hole. There's like holes here to put it in the first hole. And then the other end of the wire, put it into the second hole. So now it is in the first. Oh no, wait, let's put it first and third so now it's in the first and third holes do this now we want to get it and then once you plug it in now it will not do anything so right now I'm just plugging it in to my computer see it stop blinking it says right now on my computer removable device detected but it's not running anyways that'll be the end of the video please don't forget to like and subscribe this took me a while to make and a while to edit bye